welcome and welcome back to my channel my name is Jane my channel is about motherhood thrifts and finds and beauty uh, we are coming to the end of the year and I'm super super excited guys I just had to film in front of my Christmas tree because yo the year is coming to an end and I am super super grateful for this far that we have come so I just wanted to share with you guys um, things that I felt have really really helped me uh, throughout the year um, to really just work on my self-development, self-improvement, becoming self-aware because weh, this life can just bring you some character development. Yani, you just forget who you are. So I felt like this year, um, it's really something I wanted to focus on. Um, just self, uh, becoming more self-aware and appreciating um, the gifts and talents that I have or rather just finding my purpose in life. And so I wanted to share with you guys some of the things that I feel really, really helped me get here. Um, so I'm going to start with uh, courses I pursued. Uh, they were actually free courses. I just found them online. I registered for them and I was able to um, get a ticket and attend. And I feel like they really, really helped me um, to come this far. Um, the first one is a 30-day challenge under I Am Africa. It was being run by Jean Adero. I'm just going to uh, put it on the screen and show you guys her page. If you like, you can reach out. Um, she has amazing, amazing courses, girls. Guys, this course really, really changed my perspective on life. I mean, amazing, amazing stuff. I'm just going to read for you um, some quotes or rather just some things that I picked which I feel like were really really important um, if your if your vision is fuzzy you will never see it so your vision has to become clear for you to see it and for it to become clear you have to work towards making it clear it can't just happen you have to do it you have to write it down you have to work towards it and I feel like doing this course really really helped me put my vision together and kind of like see it more clearer the other one was convenience and conviction cannot and will never live on the same street. Um, this basically means that to be able to see your vision clearly or go after it, you will need to give up certain conveniences. You will need to give up things that you've been telling yourself that um, are just random or are in your head, but you know very well you can overcome them. To be able to do this, you would have to give up certain conveniences because convenience and conviction cannot and will never live on the same street. The other course I did uh, was from She Leads Africa. Uh, it was for it was a digital business skill. I just wanted to um, improve my digital skills. Being in this digital space, can be so much happening, guys. You just have to be on top. You also have to ensure that what you're giving out is quality, and that's what I have really, really focused on. And I'm going to show you guys my notes. <laughs> I have a whole book. I usually take down notes for every course that I take, um, so that you guys see I'm not just here to tell you stories. <laughs> Actually, did attend. Um, these courses. So these are my notes. I'm not sure if they are clear um, But yeah, this was for digital business skills. So uh, what we basically learned is uh, brand visibility How to start up at low cost and practical business skills you can apply We also um, got to learn the difference between B2C and B2B products and businesses and services and tools you can use to get started, um, get started. some value propositions you can apply. Just amazing, amazing stuff, which I feel like really, really opened up my mind in terms of what digital uh, business really means and what it entails. A really, really good course. It was actually one hour, guys, just one hour, one hour. It was a one hour session, it was online. I just logged in, we attended, asked questions. I mean, amazing, amazing. There's so much information you can get online, so guys, Please, let's get learned. The other course I did, which I think is going to be the last one I'm sharing for this video, was for um, Under Future Females. Um, it was a side hustle masterclass. So this was also, I think, two hours. It was a two-hour session. The most amazing session I attended. It was for women only. And guys, I'm telling you, women are doing amazing things out here. If you don't want to be left out, please, please, please just take advantage of these sessions. Oh, uh, there we go. Uh, I 
I don't know if my notes are clear, guys. <laughs> but my handwriting is clear to me. Um, but we really just talked about side hustle ideas, how to choose a side hustle you actually love and that would make you money eventually, uh, how to translate your side hustle idea into an actionable work plan, uh, what you need to do to achieve this, you know, consistency, how you need to let the world know what you're doing, how you prepare for the execution, amazing stuff. How to start off. Um, this was such such a beautiful course. I'm so glad I did it. Did it. Um, I think I actually took some slide shots. <laughs> I'll try and include them here. Uh, but I feel like these are courses that really really helped me. Um, you know, um, just be the person that I am today, and also just uh, increase my knowledge um, within the year of 2021. <laughs> second thing I'm going to be touching on is books I've read that have really had an impact on me this year. Um, I've read a lot of books but I've just picked the ones that I really really felt were in line with what I was uh, really trying to achieve or what really helped me just become self-aware. And I actually put them here for easier access or for easier read or for easier follow. So currently I'm reading this book. Um, on earth we are briefly gorgeous i haven't finished reading it but it's a very interesting book um it's from a son who is writing this book to a mother who cannot uh, read which is very interesting i'm just going to read um one of the things at the back it says uh, this book pays attention not to what our thoughts make us feel but to what our feelings make us think Kizungu, my friend. Kizungu. <clears throat> so I'm going to read, I wanted to read something for you from inside, which I found really interesting that I want you to really just deliberate on. I'm not going to explain because I want you to just take time to understand it for yourself. It says, you once told me that the human eye is God's loneliest creation. How so much of the world passes through the pupil and still it holds nothing. The eye alone in its socket doesn't even know there's another one just like it an inch away just as hungry as empty what that means but very interesting book i really really love the quotes they have used maybe i'll be sharing those with you once i finish reading it uh, but really really just good stuff good good stuff the other book I've really read and focused on this year was Option B by Sheryl Sandberg. Um, this was also an amazing book. It's about a woman who lost her husband uh, while they were out on a vacation and uh, she had two kids uh, to go back home to and tell. And it's a very captivating book. I found it to be very emotional. Um, I got attached to this book um, mostly because I think sometimes we really need to find the second option in life it doesn't have to be through death or maybe just through an experience uh, but i was able to relate to this book because i feel like um, i have been wanting to understand what option b looks like in life like if things are not going the way you had planned for them to work or maybe your um, your business didn't work out or you know this year has just uh, has been a very hard year and i feel like it really forced a lot of us to think about our second option so this book really just helped me um, open up my mind in that sense um, uh, like what to think or what to do if things don't work out and stuff like that um, very very nice book i would also recommend it the other one i've read that i've really really fallen in love with is this book it's called the girl with the louding voice amazing abidare <sighs> the author is just let me tell you guys, it's been written by the way, the English is so Nigerian-ish. If you've watched Nigerian movies and you see these girls who are um, not educated or maybe their English is very hard to, to understand. So that's the English she has used to write this book, especially in the beginning parts. And I love it. I have really, really just... <sighs> amazing book amazing book i don't know what i can tell you guys but it's about a young lady a teenage girl who um really wants educate education but she's been thrown into a life of servitude um which she really really fights against so it's a really nice book i think for me it was an eye opener in the sense that um 
sometimes you really have to want to be loud and speak about things that you believe in without really getting so much concerned about um, what people would think or feel. And um, it also just gave me the courage to want to speak about things that I believe in without really feeling like people will judge or whatever. Um, yeah, um, I mean, <sighs> amazing book. I don't know what I can say about it, but Nime Ipenda, I've loved it, I've loved it. Um, the last one, <laughs> which I feel like was really a craze this year for good reason is becoming um, by the way these books I think three of these books I've been gifted by my friend Marion pick up I love you so much I miss you um, she's my friend she went to do her masters and I'm super super proud of her keep soaring girl I hope you get to see this um, yeah she also gave me this becoming uh, Michelle Obama and I think for me this book was really just seeing that Michelle really just came from an ordinary background. She just grew up as a normal small girl in a small town. And seeing that progression really helps you look at life differently. I think um, sometimes what we see is the end result of a person. We don't really know the background of what they have been through to get to where they are. And so I feel like this book really helped me want to understand or bring into perspective that people really go through a lot before they become who they are. And becoming is really a process. It's like the way a butterfly just, you know, it starts from a moth. I don't know, those two stages, by the way. <laughs> what was science? Yeah, but eventually it's a beautiful butterfly and that's what we see. But then we have to understand that there's a process, there's progression, there's things you have to really work hard, there's things you have to go through before becoming. And that's the most important thing. So those are the books that I feel like have really, really helped me uh in my journey towards self-awareness and self-development and i would recommend uh reading i think um having a culture of reading is not easy but reading really just opens up your mind it helps you look at things differently it helps you um you know have time to just understand that you know life is happening but it's happening in a different way and yeah so that's it in terms of books <laughs>listened to i mean i think i have introduced myself to podcasting to podcasts this year i haven't really historically um really bothered about podcasts i've also not really listened to a lot of them but i feel like this is something that is really really coming up especially in the african industry and it's something that we really need to embrace because the knowledge people have hey what to happen you People have knowledge and if you open your mind to it, you get to really just learn a lot about life. So the podcast, I'm just going to share two that I really, really feel have just jiggled up uh, me in a way is Legally Clueless. Legally Clueless, if you don't know Adele and Yango, guys, you need to go and listen to Legally Clueless and you will understand that there's so much about Africa and about life and about things that you don't know that you should know um which are very very important and the other one is from a south african lady she's called nompumelelo i hope i pronounced that correctly it's called um wisdom and wellness a very beautiful podcast um it just reminds you how important it is to take care of yourself to take care of your health to really just understand that wisdom is important and wisdom comes, of course, from the word of God first. And then as you open up and broaden up your mind into a lot of other things, then you grow. Then I also um, got an interesting uh, thing that I want to share with you guys about podcasts. So the first one is the most popular podcast across Africa this year are for self-help and personal development podcast which tells you that everybody is really just trying to develop themselves everybody is really just trying to um, seek help seek knowledge which is very important because i think we've had a very tough year which has emotionally affected a lot of people and so having podcasts that talk about that that remind you that you know life is tough for sure uh, but there's things that you can do to just help you focus on your mental wellness and you know Things that are important and, and i think that's why this um has just become the number one podcast or maybe the one that's listened to the most 
The second one has uh, mainly focused on culture and arts, which I think is something that I'm really, really super proud of. Africa, we are becoming very aware of our culture. We are becoming very proud of our culture. Um, we are appreciating our art industry and uh, it's just beautiful, amazing, amazing stuff. The third one, of course, is uh, on business and leadership, uh, which I think uh, with the pandemic, with people losing their jobs, uh, we focus so much on creating businesses and creating opportunities and just doing things that we haven't really traditionally done, which I think has turned out um, mostly to our favor because we've been able to uh, do things that we, we could historically maybe not do or didn't think it was important or necessary. We've also focused on our talents and gifts, which is very, very important. And yeah. So all this information I got from Africa Pop Podfest, by the way, which happened this year, I think in November, I'm not sure. And yeah, that's it for podcast, guys. So the other thing, which is the reason we are here, is of course opening up my YouTube channel. Um, this, I think for those guys who really, really are close to me and know me, you know how much of a private person I am. And so starting this channel was such a huge step for me to take. But I think it's because it's aligned with the vision that I have and it's something that I had to start. And I'm super, super proud of myself for coming this far, for being able to just share the information that I have, what I know, and for the love you guys have shown me so far. Ah, I am just happy. I'm proud of myself. Good job, Jane. Good job, Jane. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I think starting my channel was really um, part of also um, creating or, or bringing the front of being self-aware and also just wanting to share the information that I have uh, using a platform that has been made available to do that and doing it, um, you know, just creating content that is really edifiable, content that people would actually come and learn from. And I think that that was really, really um, my intention and remains to be my intention for this channel. And I hope you guys have, you know, you've embraced it and you've learned something. I know it's a bit different, but it's something that I really love. And yes, I hope you are learning from it. Um, and it also, I think, stemmed from the fact that I wanted to show my son that you can actually pursue what you love. Uh, it doesn't have to, it will probably not pay you um, in, the, in the initial stages or maybe even forever. But if it's something of service and it's something that really gives you peace, it's something worth pursuing. And that was really, really, it's really, really important for me that my son gets to get to know that as he grows <clears throat> Yeah, the other thing is, of course, I shaved my hair. Way in your to my struggle. <laughs> but yeah, I shaved my hair. I even tried uh, dyeing it in different colors. So right now it's grown a bit. And it's because um, I felt like I really just missed plating and I wanted to plate it. But currently it's still short. And it was really important for me to do that. Uh, I felt like it gave me a different lease of life or a new lease of life. And it made me a very different person. But someone who, um, you know, I'm excited to be and I'm happy to be and uh, I'm just super, super grateful <laughs> to have done that because it really, really helped me look at life differently. Uh, it was such a huge step for me to take. And, um, you know, I, I mean, I think it was a good change. It was a good change and I'm super, super glad that I embraced it. <laughs> Okay, um, I wouldn't exactly call them failures. I think I would call them shortcomings because I think um, it's things I still haven't achieved, but it's things that I have not stopped chasing. And um, maybe this year they didn't work out or maybe I just didn't give them as much attention, but it's things that I would possibly want to continue pursuing. So the first one, of, of course, was uh, my side hustle business, which I started. <laughs> Thrifts and finds. So my idea was to really just thrift uh, secondhand decor items and resell them, uh, which is a project that took off. Uh, but then I didn't really, really like how it took off. Um, I think uh, I'll even show you guys the page. Uh, yeah, it just didn't. I didn't feel like it fit the standard that I wanted to create for it. And so that's why I took a pause on it. Um, but it's something that I would really want to still pursue. 
it's something that I love doing. I love thrifting a lot, and so I wanted to use to see how I can use that, um, you know, to as a side hustle business or something, just so that I can share that experience with people. Um, uh, of course, you know, let's see, let's see, let's see. Let me just leave it at that. But it's definitely something I really wanted to start on this year. Uh, it didn't pick up quite well, uh, but it's okay. Um, it's still in my pipeline, and I know that. I'll be able to find a way to launch it in the correct way, the way I wanted it to look like. Uh, the other thing was, um, actually guys, by the way, it's hard to talk about things you feel like you failed on. Um, but there's a time this year I really, really wanted to shift jobs, the current job that I'm doing. I was really, really determined to change. I don't know. And I really got good referrals um, from my friends, which I really, really appreciate. Um, but I didn't, they didn't go through. I failed horribly and terribly on my feet. But um, I mean, then it was hard. It was very hard to accept because, I mean, it's hard to accept failure. I don't think anybody enjoys failing. But there's something I even wrote it down. Did you come and tap at your page? But let me see. And I have just been listening to a lot of things that I feel like have edified me and have helped me understand um, that sh such shortcomings are important in life and somehow they could be just in line with your vision or in line with God's vision for you. And uh, I read somewhere that God knows what he is doing. He is not forceful, but he is persistent. So sometimes he can persist on keeping you somewhere because he's not yet done with you there or there's an assignment which he really wants you to fulfill before he can move you to the next step. And this has helped me um, just look at life differently and sometimes understand that sh such shortcomings are very important um, and <clears throat> you could remain where you are because God's assignment is not yet done. He's not yet done with you there. So stick, 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 and just ask him what it is that you need to do before he can move you to the next level because it's also very important to understand your assignment and leave it to the maximum. So, yeah, that's it. Um, the other thing uh, I think I would say is I just feel like um, I didn't spend as much time with my son I, um, as I would have loved to. Uh, not in a bad way. I think I would just want to be able to create opportunities and spaces and periods and time where I'm able to just uh, mentor him, especially now that he's very young, because this is the age where he really gets to um, learn and understand things. I don't know how to put it, but just to create that space and that environment and those opportunities. And I think it's something I haven't really achieved 100%. And it's something I would really love to continue pursuing in the new year. Uh, but those are just the little small shortcomings that I, I felt like sharing. Um, of course, there's a lot, there's other things that, you know, life pulls you through, but you learn from them and you grow from them and you move forward. I feel like this video has been long enough, so I'm going to stop there. Thank you so much for watching, guys. If you're new here, please consider hitting the subscribe button and becoming part of my growing family. I would really, really love it if you chose to join um, this course. Um, and wishing you guys happy holidays. Enjoy time with family. Enjoy time with friends. And really just remember that Jesus is the reason for this season. Have a happy, 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 um, how do they say it? Merry Christmas and a prosperous new year 2022. See you next time. Bye.